Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, I'm Steve. Today, I'm gonna unbox a new tripod that I purchased. And before I get into this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Hit the notification bell below and leave all your comments below. Perfect. I've been in the market for a little while. When I first started filming and taking pictures, my uncle actually just gave me one of his old tripods I have here. It's a Vivitar, I don't, I don't know anything really about it. It's really light, it's really small, and I'll probably still continue to use it for my webcam because you don't need a really uh, high quality tripod, you know, to mount a webcam on. So I'll probably still keep this one, even though one of the legs are broken, but that's fine. Needless to say, I'll put that on the floor. For a long time now, I've been on the market for a new tripod. And my friend Ben suggested the Manfrotto 290 Extra Aluminum Tripod. You could either purchase it on its own. Um, I got the one that comes with the ball head. It came in today. So let's unbox it. And I started a little bit right here because uh, I didn't want to work with scissors on camera. So let's take it out. Throw that over there. Okay, so here it is. Get that in there. Manfrotto. It's my first real tripod. It was $201. I purchased this on B&H and I'll link that below and I'll show a picture of the website too. It had expedited shipping. It was supposed to come, I think in like three days. I was supposed to get it on March 1st, and I just got it today. FedEx was delayed. What are you going to do? But I got it. So let's open this baby up. All right. Styrofoam. Uh, all right. It comes in this nice carrying case, red and black. Manfrotto on the side. Let's open this up. What do we have here? We have the instructions for the tripod. Ooh. Oh, get a little glare. Tripod instructions. We have the tripod, but there's something else in here. Okay. Oh, these are the ball head instructions. So you have the tripod instructions and the ball head instructions. Throw that over there. All right, wow, this is a beauty. This weighs way more than my current one. I mean, it, this one probably costs like 50 or $60, I would assume. This one was 201, obviously higher quality. Comes with the ball head. Um, I'm not too sure how much extra it would be, but I could find that and link it in the description below. But this is crazy. This is really, really high quality. Um, Let's open it up. The legs, obviously like any other leg of a tripod, but I believe this one can extend in four axes with this button. So you press this right here. So this is one. And then two. Three. And then four. So it looks like four is literally like I don't know if you want to get it like really low to the ground or something and then you don't have to press the button to collapse it so that is pretty cool right there uh this dial here these two will allow you to rotate the ball head so you loosen both up and then it'll turn like that and the ball head as well and i'll have to go back and fix that after this video but it's really, really high quality. We have this knob here. This you just turn and this will lift the middle portion up. Just like that. Tighten that. And obviously like any tripod, the legs extend. And there's this piece here, out it comes. And then the second piece, and out that goes. So I don't know if you can see, but that is pretty long. This is really, really nice. I'm trying to get it in frame there, give you a good look. It's 
pretty good compact package once the legs are, you know, secure. High quality aluminum. Like I said, this one comes with the ball head. It's $201 on B&H. Um, let's see what else there is on there. Cause like I said, I just did open this myself, but it's pretty standard. I really, I really think that that's pretty much it. You know, you can extend the legs, the middle shaft goes up and down like you would want it. The ball head rotates and this ball head is really, really sturdy. Once you tighten it, it's almost impossible to move it. So that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I don't know how to kind of review a tripod, but this one feels really great. When I go out, I'm going to take this one with me. And when I'm inside, I'll use my old one that has my webcam on it. And maybe I will shoot some videos with both where I could have my camera on this tripod shooting my face and then a second camera on this tripod maybe shooting my hands so whatever i have on camera you could see from both angles maybe i'll give that a shot who knows but yeah that is the manfrotto 290 extra aluminum tripod with ball head the technical number is the mk 290 xta 3 us again i'll post a picture of it and a link in the description below. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I really appreciate it. I love, love, love interacting with you guys and your questions. I'll talk to you later and see you on my next video. Later.